Hello, my name is Ken Colgan with CAD Tech Seminars. You can find us on the web at therevitguys.com, also the bimguys.com. This tip of the week will cover how to align all my views on a sheet, or sheets, multiple sheets. So let's take a look at that now. What I have is a, a handful of sheets over here, just to use an example. We'll go to first floor dimension plan. You'll notice on the plan here, there is the floor plan that's sitting on the sheet. Now, if I hit reference plan, uh, it's on the sheet, but notice it's not in the same spot. Like, ah, you want me to get them all lined up. There are some tr tools you can use in Revit. There is this little uh, thing up top when you pick on the title block or go up to, let's say, views, where you can actually add in a grid guide. Um, I'll hit OK on that, and you'll see it puts that in. That's kind of hard for me. I don't know. It just to, uh, it doesn't work. Uh, it is available. If you want to try it, it works for you. That's great. So um, I'm going to show you a trick that works for me. We can go up top, and uh, I'm going to start with maybe the dimension plan. Let's say this one's right and the other one's wrong. It doesn't really matter. Just put one on a sheet, get it where you want it to be, and the rest will all follow. So I am in uh, my my sheet. i got a viewport, and I've got my sheet. I'm going to go to annotate. I'm going to start the detail line command. I'm going to draw a detail line from the endpoint here. Notice we have a snap point. I'm going to drag it over and watch what happens when we go over this plan. You notice it's not sticking to anything right now, right? But watch when I get to the intersection of those two. Revit will reach into the viewport and and grab intersecting grids or grid lines. So it's almost like a little secret tip. Notice it's not picking up the doors, not picking up the walls, not picking up anything, but when you touch over two grid lines, whammo. If you want to secure that, make sure you write hit SI, that's for snap intersection. Touch it, bam. So you notice what I've done is I've actually put a line in here. Now that line we can then propagate throughout the rest of our sheets. To do that I'll grab here. I'm going to hit copy to clipboard and then I'm going to drop this down and go paste selected views. Uh, now selected views, not really, actually want to, yeah, uh, selected views. What it does, look, it looks at all the sheets. So if I want to move it to the, let's say the dimension sheet where it is, say I want to go to the uh, first floor um, life safety cover sheet, just so you can see it pops in there. Uh, again, we first floor flight ceiling plan, pick whatever ones you want, holding the control of shift keys down, right? So we pick all the ones that we like. So we can get them all lined up. Now we may want to do the second floors also because you know, I, you know, they want to do that. So I grab them all. And now I'm going to actually uncheck, hold the shift key, the dimension plane. So that's what I'm in. Ah, dang. Try that again. Grab them all. Okay, you get the concept. Just grab the ones you want, and I'll just go through here, and maybe some other ones also. This time I hit OK, and what happens is, you see how it fluttered. That fluttering was actually putting it on all the sheets. If I go to my first floor life safety plan, what you're going to see is, see there's the marker. Uh, let's go to this first floor reference plan. You'll see the marker. Now, how do I move it to that location? Now, uh, to move it to the location, we can actually grab the view, and here's the trick. Hit the move command. Move. Move. Again, SI, snap intersection. See, it wants to do that. SI. Notice only snap and intersections now. Then I'll type in SE, snap endpoint. And notice it's picking up the endpoint in paper space if you're an AutoCAD person or in the sheet. Bam! Now they line up. So there you go. That is the tip of the week on how to line your sheets up. Now, to take it even further, you'll say, well, I got this line on my sheet, Ken. Is anybody going to get rid of it? Sure. Uh, we can go ahead and delete it. Uh, that's one way. The other way is when you create it. Okay, and this is going to be a little crazy, but it's actually it's pretty cool. Before you propagate it through all of your locations, right, you'll notice up top, we're looking for the invisible line. The invisible line doesn't show up on your detail lines. So if you're an AutoCAD person, this may hit home. We're going to go up to the Manage tab. We're going to go Additional Settings. We'll go down to Line Styles. We'll hit the Plus, and then we'll hit a new one. Now, AutoCAD people, they use a layer called Def Points. Okay? That's where, actually, Revit puts the defining points for the dimensions. If you want to call it Def Points, you can. All right? I'm going to put it, let's say, <coughs> sheet, uh, View Alignment. You call it whatever you want, right? Def Points works for you. Now, what I'm going to do is see the color. Set it to white. Hit OK. Hit OK. All right. Uh, now I grab that line and I bring it down here and I say, You are our view alignment. Now notice it's blank, but here's the cool part it's still there. So I could, if this view was off, off somewhere, right? Now I got to have an idea where it is, right? I could quickly switch it to what I want it to be. I say, ah, I want to see it. Turn it to hidden real quick and then set it back. Or you don't even have to, if you're good, you don't even have to change it. You can leave it like that. I'm going to grab this element. Okay? I hit move from what? Snap intersection. Then I type in SE, snap endpoint. I start to move around. And look what I just grabbed on. Ooh, daddy. Isn't that sweet? Bam. Jumps right in the spot. Life is good. It's still there. 
but it's not going to print. So you people that use def points, hey, it works great. If you want to put it on a specialized named layer like view alignment, hey, go right ahead. Easy to do. You can use it for schedules, floor plans, you name it. Key plans, up to you. Hope you enjoyed the tip. Again, uh, the RevitGuys.com. You can also uh, check out our website, and on there we have links to more videos. So uh, check us out.